Welcome to the unofficial SF secret editor training video. Uh, so there are a couple of different ways to get to the edit mode of unofficial SF. All right, to enter the edit mode, basically add WP hyphen admin, and then enter your credentials. And you'll be taken straight to the classic WordPress admin interface for unofficial SF. And this is always where it's going to be. It's always going to be at WP-admin. 95% of what you are probably going to be doing is dealing with posts and pages. So these are very similar, but they're not the same. So if you're looking for something, you can't find it. Like if you go to post and you're searching around and you're like, where is my thing? and you're scrolling down and you can't find it, it may be because it's over in pages, which is very, which looks very similar. Uh, and the basic idea is most of the time we just want to create posts and the posts, we will go here, we'll click right. And uh, so let's say for example, that uh, someone like Jen Lee has created some useful content and we just want to give a shout out link to it. It's going to be useful. Um, and so we basically want to make sure that if someone's searching, like if she did, if she did something on say encrypted fields and we want to make sure that someone who comes to this site can search on encrypted fields and find that. So we might go, uh, you know, um, encrypted fields in flow by Jen Lee. Uh, definitely like to give attribution and point out to content. We want to drive, we're not trying to dr really drive people to content on this site. Whenever we have a ch choice, we want to drive people to the content of the Ohana. Uh, that said, if, some, we, if someone do, isn't already publishing their own content, then we love to have them publish their content here. So for a lot of people who don't have their own blog, aren't actively creating content, then we want to get them to come here and we want to invite them uh, to be an author. Uh, and so we can talk about that in a minute. But in any case, so you're basically, when you publish a blog post, notice this categories here. This is very important because there's, there's a couple of different products uh, that are supported on the site and we expect more. So you got to make sure to get it to show up. If, it's not, if your stuff's not showing up where you expect, it's probably because this category is not checked. Okay, uh, in general, just go ahead and publish stuff. Check it out, take a look, don't worry about it. If it's wrong, if it's bad, you'll get an error. You know, someone will say, hey, fix that thing. Uh, you can always take it down later. Don't worry about getting approval uh, on content. Uh, if I see something I don't like, uh, I may say, hey, next time you publish, uh, uh, do it this way instead of that way. No big deal. If you really want to get like something checked out before you publish it, um, then uh, you can publish something as private, in which case only editors and above will get to see it, or password protected. Uh, but in general, uh, the goal here is to get the content visible and out there, so don't stress it. Just, just go ahead and publish, publish, publish. Uh, so the blog posts are good and you can search them uh, with the search and find them. Uh, pages, what I like about pages is uh, pages are good for creating this sort of structure here. Like this is a page uh, and if we drill down into components and actions, this is a static page. This wouldn't make much sense as a blog post. We don't really want uh, we, we want this to be sort of browsable. Uh, so um, if you're putting if you're putting structure together, then create pages. And don't be afraid to add structure. Uh, one of the things we need to do as the content grows is we need to uh, we, the structure needs to evolve. For example, uh, this right here, I added, this page called uh, of how to guides just a few days ago I used to have a couple of these how to's and they used to just be hanging out here. 
on the home page of Flow. And then it got to a point where there was critical mass. So I created a sub page and created this link that points to it. And uh, so, you know, that is generally a fine thing to do. Uh, if you want to add structure, maybe check with me uh, the first couple times. Uh, once you get into, into the, you get the sort of feel for the balance between too much structure and not enough structure, then, you know, I'll, be, I'll basically say, hey, go for it. Create all the structure you want. Uh, we aren't going to need to create too much structure, I think, but there's, you know, it's great to have some structure. Like if we drill, like I want to, you know, here we've got some groupings. There's a lot of stuff here. Most of this is Rakesh's work. Would like to get more flows in here if you can sp find downloadable flows and add them here. Uh, here. I'm gradually adding stuff here as I find it. Like this is a great place to put links to projects that somebody posted and now are hard to find because no one knows they exist. Uh, like, uh, uh, let's see, is this, this is, I think, uh, yeah, you see, like, I don't even think I have mass action scheduler listed here. Like that's a great example of something that just should be, should be added. So, and you know what? This is like a third admin view. This that you just we just saw here. Believe it or not, we got this kind of view, and then this is a different label that takes you back here. So there's like three, at least three different views of admin that are all basically showing the same stuff: the pages and the posts. Uh, we're using a theme called Enfold, so a lot of theming is handled here, uh, and in general. Don't mess with this unless you know CSS. If you do know CSS, if you know your way around uh, CSS styling, if you're comfortable with things like these hex codes, uh, then let me know because I could definitely use some help. Some of our uh, headings need to be tweaked. Uh, it needs to be more clear that some of these are clickable. We probably need to put some underlines on some of them. Uh, but this is not, if you aren't familiar with CSS, this is probably not the place uh, to learn. Uh, so uh, anyways, uh, this, is, this is where the styling all, this is where the styling magic happens. Comments, feel, I encourage you to, to answer comments, resolve comments, point people. If you see a comment, you can point someone at the right place, do it. Uh, make sure that people who are commenting here know about the Trailblazer community, which is probably the best place to ask questions. Uh, I am not trying to get this to replace the Trailblazer community as the best place to answer questions. Um, so, uh, in general, um, in general, uh, don't be afraid to point people in that direction. Um, and uh, so on and so forth and that's basically the uh that's basically the story if you want to make suggestions uh about plugins we should install something that would improve the site feel free uh and uh don't be afraid i mentioned authoring before uh, if you spot somebody with some good content somewhere someone's posted something something useful about flow or process builder, or really any flow automation, next best action decisioning that you think would be useful. Uh, I think you as editors, uh, you might not have the ability to add a new user. Uh, in which case, just ask me, you know, that's a good time to ask me to add them. Um, and uh, I may try and figure out how to get you as editors to be able to add new users with contributor uh, and uh, or author capabilities. Um, so essentially, the more we can push power down to individuals, the better. So uh, if we, if it, generally whenever I see someone who has created something cool that isn't already on this site, I basically say, hey, I would love to post a blog post on this site, unofficial 
Salesforce about, uh, I'd like you to post a blog post about your own great stuff. And uh, if they already have a full posting about their stuff, then I usually say, I'm just going to link to your existing great posting. If they don't really have it, then basically say, hey, would you like to blog, blog about this? We'll make it really easy for you. Um, and let's just try and get them up, get them up on this site. And uh, that, that is kind of what we're up to. So that is kind of it. We'll take it as we go. Thank you for your interest in um, participating in the editing, uh, the editing of uh, Unofficial SF. You are very welcome. And uh, don't be afraid to, you know, try it out. Even if you make some mistakes, don't worry about it. We can recover. We can rewind. If you delete the entire site accidentally, we can rewind it. We've got like backup, really good backup in place on this thing. So don't be afraid to do stuff. Um, except maybe the styling. You probably don't want to screw with the styling, like I said. But other than the styling, don't be afraid to do stuff. Uh, except for maybe installing crazy plugins without checking me. But except for the styling and the installing crazy plugins without checking with me, feel free to do pretty much uh, anything you want except for theme customization uh, and screwing with any sort of domains whatsoever. But except for theme customization, screwing with domains, changing styling, uh, adding plugins, you should definitely feel free to do just about anything you want on the site. So, of course, I'm, so, I'm sort of kidding here, but sort of not. Uh, I'm going to stop now, and I'll talk to you later.